Hello everybody and welcome back to more Dragon Age Origins. Um, I believe we're done with the dark spawn down here. Um, I don't see anywhere else to go so I'm just going to assume that that is the case. Hopefully the number of dark spawn that we've dispatched have been to their satisfaction. Oh, never mind. There is still a shit ton. An order. Morgan. Uh How about you? <laughs> uh put something up there. Come on, guys. You guys can attack even if I'm not telling you to. Look at that. That's beautiful. Who's attacking me? Emissaries? Okay. Well, they're just willingly walking in there. Oh my god, there's Red Cliff soldiers up here. Oops. Oh, right. I didn't realize that there was people up here. Does this get rid of it? No, it doesn't. Well, shit. Well, shit. <laughs> I honestly didn't realize that there were friendlies up here. Whoops. My bad. Alright, that's fine. It's fine. Whatever. Holy fudge cakes. How did- okay, she did get knocked down. Why do I not remember this part at all? Like... I don't remember this little siege thing. What is your command? <laughs> Alright. Screw you, dude. Seriously. Ow. Ow. I shall do it. Ow. Did you not take the potion? Did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. Ooh, Sorsha. Okay. And apparently, even though you did take the potion, you're freaking still low as hell. Oh my god. Okay. That was that. <laughs> no mana. This fight is really freaking hectic. Holy jeez. Yes. Shit's just freaking everywhere. Oh my god, no. You did not just do that on me. I'm gonna do disengage because the alpha's coming towards me. Hopefully it gets rid of Mr. Alpha dude. I'm dead. Well, at least I- nope, can't get that off. Holy jeez! Um... Well, no, falling back won't help because the freaking emissary is gonna just keep attacking, right? Alright. Are they helping at all? I feel like I s handled this fight very so be it. suboptimally. Alster <laughs> is actually doing decently. All right. Heal me. You're fine. Stop bitching. Get up. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. No, I was waiting for Lily to get up. I didn't realize there'd be an ogre. Okay, take a potion. I'm wearing the oh. Take a potion. Oh. Hmm. Fuck. God damn it! Oh, Jesus. Everything's going wrong in this fight. 
I'm just not handling things. Sorsh, sweetie. Please get out of the corner there. Oh dear. There we go. Is it time to kill something? Seriously, just fuck off. My god. Massive attack. Uh oh, getting out of the way. Okay, may I now get a cone of cold off on you? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Thank you. As you wish. You're in a little Just so you know. You're fine. Just hold well, on. Amy, you're here. Thank goodness. What's happened here? I don't rightly know. Riordan of the Grey Wardens arrived this morning, just ahead of the Darkspawn. I was told he has urgent news and to send out patrols to watch for your arrival. Then we were attacked. Great. Uh, hold on. There might be stragglers, but you seem to have taken care of most of them out here. That's rather remarkable, really. No big. I just wanted to, uh, loot this guy, because I didn't get to. Alright, you need yes. to get making shit, lady. I have a lot of elf fruit. Alright, alright. And now we're going to actually make use of our numerous, numerous injury kits. Oops. Ah, oh, you gotta wait. Who else died? You did. That's a cunning, right? Ah, uh, oh well. Remove it, nevertheless. Let's, uh, loot that guy. Sorry for, no, uh, setting electricity storm upon your heads, guys. I didn't know you guys were up here. <laughs> I'm sure that excuse flies in all military situations. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Am I supposed to talk to him to get inside? I was told to watch for your arrival, yes, Warden. Yes, yes, Your yes, comrade, we know. Riordan, arrived Take just ahead inside. of the... I should take you to the hall right away, my lady. They'll be waiting for you there. My, my. That was a mess of a fight. It's a relief to see you unharmed. And you as well, Alistair. Or should I say your majesty? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> the darkspawn that attacked Redcliff were relatively few in number, I'm afraid. It was assumed the Horde was marching in this direction, but that is not true. Riordan tells us that the bulk of the Horde is in fact heading towards Denerim. They are perhaps two days away from the capital. Great. What? Are we sure about that? I mean, if that's true. I ventured close enough to listen in, as it were. I am quite certain. Great! Has word been sent to Denerim? Word has been sent, but they need more than warning. They need our armies. There is, I'm afraid, one other piece of news that is of even greater concern. Really? The Archdemon has shown itself. The dragon is at the head of the Horde. Make her preserve us. But we can't reach Denerim within two days, can we? It's too far. We must begin a forced march to the capital immediately with what we have. Denerim must be defended at all costs. Great. We're gonna be late to the party. Is it even possible to reach the city in time? Perhaps not. But what is important is that we know where the Archdemon will be. If we do not defeat the Archdemon, 
It will not matter if Daenerim is saved or the Horde defeated. And only the Grey Wardens can defeat the Archdemon. That is why we must go. Then we march, and hope the army we've collected here gives us the chance we need. al Eamon, how long before the army can set out? By daybreak. Then let's get them ready. I won't let all those people die without giving them a chance. Well, all right. And just how are we supposed to defeat this arch demon? I was wondering that myself. Then you don't know. Of course not. You're both new recruits. Duncan wouldn't have expected. I will give the orders Wait, at what? once, and will notify you. You want to fill us in, buddy? That would be appreciated. Perhaps you and Alistair should meet me before you retire for the evening. There are things we need to speak of. Yeah. I will have someone show you to your rooms. I suggest you all get some rest while you can. We will need it. Don't feel like this is time for rest, but, you know. So be it. I suppose it remains to be seen what sort of king Alistair will make. Personally, I think the lad will do far better than he believes. He is Merrick's son, whether he sees it or not. He has a good heart. I can think of no better qualification. Ben Tegan looks like he's freaking bored. Uh, are there any other allies we can use? We have sent messengers to Orlais. With any luck, the Empress will send us help within a week. I think it entirely possible, however, that she has written Ferelden off as a lost cause already, and will seek to defend her empire first. Perhaps the Grey Wardens of Orlais will be able to march and reach us in time. We should not rely on their arrival, even so. And shouldn't Alistair be staying here in safety? He insists on going. How can I say no? I am uneasy with the danger he puts himself in by accompanying you. I ask myself if he does not conspire to leave the throne to Honora after all. But Alistair knows his duty. He will do what is best. Right now, he believes that is assisting you in contacting your allies. All right. And now Denerim is under assault by the Darkspawn. The death toll will be... staggering. Lord. I wish you luck, Grey Warden. For all our sakes. Wasn't he a band before? I thought he was Ban Tegan. Good evening, my lady. It is an honor to meet you. Uh, how is everything in the castle? There was some groaning after the men received word about the coming race to Denerim tomorrow. But nothing serious. I think many are uneasy about facing the Great Horde. We will be outnumbered, it is said. But we have no choice. There are thousands of innocents in Denerim. My own family is there. Well, we'll save them. Don't worry about that. Thank you. You can't imagine what a relief it is to hear you say that. Uh, how do you feel? I am not certain. On one hand, I yearn for the capital to be defended. There are so many lives at stake. But it feels as if we are rushing to our doom. Do you truly feel that we have a chance of winning? Of course we'll win. I hope you are right. I will pray for it. Gotta keep the men's morale up, right? <laughs> of course, my lady. Good luck to you. Actually, you know what? I'm... It is an honor, Grey oh, Warden. Oh, I can't talk to him again? Good evening, Grey Warden. I was gonna say... Actually, I'm pretty curious about the other one, but never mind. Wait. And dwarves? what word have we from Orzammar? Has House Clarad sent their men or haven't they? They're stalling, which is as good as a no. House Clarad's feud with House Romald has flared up again since their son died in that Deep Roads business. So naturally, they're pleading the need for self defense. <laughs> Fine time to start with that nonsense again. I've half a mind to. <sighs> Evening to you, Grey Warden. I didn't realize you were still up and about. Is there a problem with the Dwarven forces? It's nothing that can be dealt with now, I'm afraid. Just one of the houses being thicker than the stone that made them. Once all of this blight business is done, there will be a reckoning in the assembly. 
They're probably half hoping we'll all wind up dead. That way they'll have one of the strongest forces left in Orzammar. Enough to face the dark spawn all on their own, I suppose? That's exactly the kind of half arse thinking that got us into the mess after Endrin passed. It was our good fortune that you decided to go to Orzammar when you did, Grey Warden. For all that a surfacer needed our help, I expect we needed yours more. Mm -hmm. Well, I am worried about the battle. Huh. And so you should be. I was hoping you'd have some Grey Warden trick up your sleeve, truth be told. Are things truly that desperate? Do we stand a chance of losing? We'll find a way to win. We must. I hope you're right. Under the open sky is a terrible place to consider dying, that's for sure. Right. Off to camp with both of you, and keep the drunkenness to a minimum. We have a long way to go yet. Pleasant evening to you, Grey Warden, and good fortune on the field of battle. Thank you. The Grey Wardens and the Dwarves have always been good allies. Good fortune to you, Grey Warden. It is a pleasure to join you. before the bugle calls. Nervous about the battle tomorrow, I see. Who wouldn't be? Oh, Ducky! You see anything interesting? No. Oh. I thought you said you did! Alright, I guess this is the... Our last chance to talk to people, see if they have anything to say? I'm listening. Uh, doesn't look like it. I thought they might say something about this last... Thing thing that we're in. In. Yes? What's on your mind? Never mind. Nobody has anything interesting to say? I got a moment. Hey, sure. What about? Alright. Hi. I'm surprised no one has anything to say about this. Win? What's on your mind? Even Win doesn't have a little line of wisdom to give us? Yes. Wow, I'm really dis- no. Yes. I said, I'm really disappointed. We... What armor is he wearing? Look cool. Oh, the dragon bone. I can't go in. Guess I'm off to my own quarters. Get a bit of a nap. Maybe talk with Alistair. Alistair must have something to say about this, right? Right? Hey, a chest that is locked. I need you, Lily. Can I get you a ladder so you can get off my back? Morrigan. I await your command. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. Wait a minute, did I ever get back to her about her grimoire stuff? So, full of quest. Never mind. Uh, I await I can't your remember. command. We are hardly alone, so privacy is not an option. It is your question, however. Ask what you will. Wait, what? We are alone. And why would I say that to her? I don't know. Why is the game giving me that option? When was she a heartless shrew? If this is not the definition of alone, I don't know what is, Morgan. You freaking you dumb are. bitch. Let's go see what Riordan has to say. Let us indeed. Can I get you a ladder so there you can get you off my back? You're both here. Good. Please know I assumed you had already been told. Otherwise, I would have told you this when you freed me in Denerim. I'm sorry. What is it? What are you apologizing for? Tell me, have you ever wondered why the Grey Wardens are needed to defeat the Darkspawn? Uh, I assume it has something to do with the taint in us. That is exactly what it involves. The Archdemon may be slain, as any other Darkspawn. But should any other than a Grey Warden do the slaying, it will not be enough. The essence of the beast will pass through the taint to the nearest Darkspawn and will be reborn anew in that body. The dragon is thus all but immortal. But if the Archdemon is slain by a Grey Warden, its essence travels into the Grey Warden instead. And what happens to the Grey Warden? A Darkspawn is an empty, soulless vessel, but a Grey Warden is not. The essence of the Archdemon is destroyed, and so is the Grey Warden. 
Meaning... the Grey Warden who kills the Archdemon... dies? Yes. Without the Archdemon, the Blight ends. It is the only way. <sighs> is there no other way? As far as we know, the transfer of the Archdemon's essence is automatic. If one of us is not present when the killing blow is made, it is all for nothing. There is no other way. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Mm hmm. So it's up to the three of us. In Blight's past, when the time came, the eldest of the Grey Wardens would decide which amongst them would take that final blow. If possible, the final blow should be mine to make. I am the eldest and the taint will not spare me much longer. But if I fail, the deed falls on you. The Blight must be stopped now, or it will destroy all of Ferelden before the rest of the Grey Wardens can assemble. Remember that. But enough. There will be much to do tomorrow, and little enough time to rest before it. I will let you return to your rooms. I will see you once the army is ready to march, then. I guess this ends soon, one way or another. That it does, my friend. That it does. So Riordan's gonna die? You should get some sleep before morning. There will be much to do when the army marches. All right. Do not be alarmed. It is only I. Uh, is everything all right? I am well. Tis you who are in danger. I have a plan, you see. A way out. The loop in your hole. What do you mean? I know what happens when the Archdemon dies. I know a Grey Warden must be sacrificed, and that sacrifice could be you. I have come to tell you that this does not need to be. And how do you know about this? I know a great many things. How I know is not quite as important as what I am offering you, however. I offer a way out. A way out for all the Grey Wardens, that there need be no sacrifice. A ritual. Performed on the eve of battle, in the dark of night. What sort of ritual is this? It is old magic. From a time before the Circle of Magi was created. Some would call it blood magic. But I think recent days have taught you this is not always to be feared. All right, but nothing comes without a price. Perhaps, but that price need not be so unbearable, especially if there is much to be gained. All I ask is that you listen to what I have to offer, nothing more. Very well, what's your plan? What I propose is this. Convince Alistair to lay with me here tonight, and from this ritual, a child shall be conceived within me. The child will bear the taint, and when the Archdemon is slain, its essence will seek the child like a beacon. At this early stage, the child can absorb that essence and not perish. The Archdemon is still destroyed with no Grey Warden dying in the process. What the fuck? Why aren't you talking to Alistair about this? Alistair despises me. You know this. He rarely listens to reason, but he would listen to you. You of all people could influence him. Think about what I offer you. The chance to avoid death. Or better yet, the chance to slay the Archdemon and live as a hero. No Grey Warden has ever done this. In return, I conceive a child. One who will be born with the soul of an old god. After this is done, you allow me to walk away, and you do not follow, ever. The child will be mine to raise as I wish. Wait, I want to know more about this child. As you wish. Will the child be evil? What will it become? Allow me to say that what I seek is the essence of the old god that once was, 
and not the dark forces that corrupted it. Some things are worth preserving in this world. Make of that what you will. What do you intend to do with this child? I do not wish to tell you. Mm. I need to know what you plan. The child will represent freedom. For an ancient power, a chance to be reborn apart from the taint. Is that not reason enough to do it? I will raise the child apart from the rest of society and teach it to respect that from which it came. Beyond that, you need know nothing else. I really don't trust you. I feel like the child will become very, very powerful. And I don't want something that powerful in your little grasp, Morgan. We may have become friendly, kind of, with each other during our travels, but I'm not willing to trust you that far. Child won't be hurt. Ignoring that after but one night it could barely be called a child, no, it will not be hurt. It will be changed. And what if Alistair wants to see the child? I have no doubt he may, but he will not. It is all I ask for in return. Then you have decided? Uh, the hell? Why Alistair? Even if I thought Riordan could be convinced, he is unsuitable. I need one who has not been tainted for long. It must be him, and it must be tonight. Oh, Jesus Christ. I... I don't know about this. I don't... No. This... This soul... It may have been tainted, and that's why it's evil right now, but... What's to say it won't go down the wrong path again, basically? What's to say this child isn't going to be a freaking force to be reckoned with once it grows up. Who the hell knows what Morgan will do with it, or if Morgan could even control it, right? How do you know this will even work? This is what my mother intended when she sent me with you. She was the one who first gave me this ritual and okay. told me of what I was meant to do. I now really does not surprise don't you, does it? trust this. Did you not wonder why Flemeth saved your life? Why she aided you? This is why. What is important is that I am offering this to you now. It will work, and it will save your life. No. <laughs> if I was suspicious when I thought this was coming from you, Morgan, if I now know it's coming from Flemeth, hell freaking no. Do not let your foolish pride condemn you. It's not pride. No Grey Warden asked for the sacrifice that is now demanded of them, and I offer all of you a way out. Will you not reconsider? It's not pride. It's called... I don't know what the fuck you're gonna do with this. I will not reconsider. The answer is no. Then you are a fool. I will not stand by and watch you waste this opportunity. Die if you feel it is worthwhile, or be overshadowed. I care not. Really? You're gonna threaten to leave over this? But I need her. Would that I could have helped you. That is your doing, however, and not mine. Fare you well, my friend. I do what I must now, and so shall you. Wow, she's leaving now. Okay, great. Now I've lost Morgan for the final fight. 